Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our vlogs. We are coming to you now from Temecula, California. We were here for a couple of days for a friend of ours, uh, their wedding. There was a really nice celebration in a vineyard, our first time in a vineyard. We really enjoyed that experience. Um, it's been sort of a whirlwind tour of events for us and we had some issues with uh, our flight on Spirit Airlines getting delayed and ultimately canceled and so we had to rebook at the last minute but nonetheless we made it here uh, and we have enjoyed our time so far we've been here for a couple of days we'll show you some of the footage that we have from the venue uh, but unfortunately we haven't been able to vlog as much as we would have liked to we are now actually packing up for our time here in Temecula and we're going to be heading to Joshua Tree um, it's very uh, close to Palm Springs. We have a glamping experience set up for us over there in Joshua Tree and we're really excited. It's a really beautiful venue um, that we're staying in for the night. So we're going to show you a lot from our time over there and be better about taking you along with us and showing you what we're up to along the way. Day one in Temecula, I was able to get in a nice workout first thing in the morning. I always make sure to work out especially while on vacation I view my vacation as a time to really heal and reset uh, really work on myself and so for me prioritizing my health and fitness is something that's very important to me so we are in Temecula California right now we've never been here but we heard it's really beautiful. We're excited for the event. It's actually gonna be in a winery. Um, so we're here today and then tomorrow we are heading to Joshua Tree, but we're really excited for the ceremony and then the reception tonight. So we just, uh, along our drive to Joshua Tree and started to get hungry, we stopped at this small diner called uh, Monument. Um, it's really nice, we had some burgers and we we're gonna wrap up now our uh, journey to Joshua Tree. So we got about 30 minutes left and once we get there, we'll kind of show you what our desert oasis camping is like. All right, so we're now approaching our destination for the desert oasis. And we really are in quite a, a, of an oasis. Let me show you guys kind of the end of our trail here. So this is the end of the road. And now we have to continue the rest of the journey. We have like 10 minutes in which we have to go on only this dirt road. So we tried to take our car closer to our campsite. However, this was actually off of the road, the dirt road, and just on the regular dirt. And as you can see here, our car got horrendously stuck in the dirt. And so we spent like an hour and a half trying to dig under the wheels, put in logs and, and planks in order to get some traction um tried everything we could in order to extricate the vehicle from this ditch that we found ourselves in ultimately we were not successful 
and had to call a tow truck, which out in Joshua Tree, because this happens so often to so many tourists in the area, ends up being just a Jeep with a very strong rope attached to it and they just tie it to the car and are able to free us from our off-road adventure back onto the dirt roads where we we're supposed to stay. So we are in the parking lot of Walmart. We're gonna pick up some dinner and then maybe pick up some breakfast for us tomorrow as well. We got the goods. <laughs> went to Walmart, picked up some of the things that we were going to eat tonight. I got this like chicken parm frozen entree that we'll try to heat up on the grill. Got some wine, got some snacks, and then some breakfast things for tomorrow. Um, and then we also needed wood to make a fire, so that's what just picked up right now. And now we're going to head back to our little campsite. Um, I, I'm just a little worried because it's really dark and there's no real like lights around where the road leading up to our campsite so hopefully we find it again. Alrighty so we just finished setting up our dinner. So this is chicken parm. We bought a pre-made salad kit and then just plated that into a bowl. Bought some wine and we are about to dig in. Hello you guys, so it is around noon and it's Monday. I feel like it's easy to forget what day we are on yeah. on vacation. We're, we're in this desert, Joshua Tree <laughs> Desert Oasis and we have got like heat stroke. I know, it's hot, it's <laughs> hot, we're, it's really hot. Um, so we're actually about to check out but wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Airbnb we stayed at um, and then also give you a tour. So I liked it for, as for like a glamping experience, it definitely met um, all of our criteria. There was yeah. a grill, there was a fire you could set up. You do have to bring your own things for the fire but they had like glasses, cups, everything like that, all the cutlery. We bought wine glasses because we wanted to have some wine last night and we're gonna leave it behind for other people to use but um, we loved it the bed was very comfortable there's a little uh, area where we actually had our dinner last night like we showed you guys um, and then it was I think my favorite part or like the part that I was kind of surprised about was that there was hot water in the shower so yesterday we utilized the fire pit I was not in Boy Scouts but I learned 
throughout my years that some lighter fluid, generous lighter fluid is a good way to start fire. I don't know if that's approved or not, so don't take my word for it. And then for dessert, I snuck in a little uh, peach pie. It was like an individual sort of uh, mini pie. And so I bought that, I put that on the grill just to heat it up, and then we had that. It was like the best it was so peach good. pie that we've <laughs> so ever had. Good. We were sad we didn't buy two of them. Like, there were mini pies, so yeah, we were it sad. Was, it was only 50 cents from Walmart, but it was the best peach pie <laughs> yeah. we ever had. Yes. So. Today, what we did, we just sort of uh, uh, took some pictures around this uh, Airbnb. We just lounged around the desert. Uh, Mo made a fantastic breakfast for us this morning, avocado toast. And then I made a breakfast dessert, which was banana toast, <laughs> banana Foster's toast, I guess. That was good. <laughs> the content we shot this morning was mainly for us, but also I wanted to share some outfits with you guys. So um, I will link that post below with the Revolve link for the dresses as well. Very comfy, would highly recommend. Um, yeah, so go check out that post on my Instagram. All right, so now we're actually all packed up. We're gonna be heading now to uh, the main reason that we came to Joshua Tree to see the park. <laughs> yeah. Not just for the glamping experience, yes. but uh, so we're all packed up. We're gonna head out, but before we head out, we wanna give you a quick room tour. So Mo will guide you through the room tour, and then after that, we'll be on our way to the park. So starting with our patio, this is the grill and propane tank. We use this to make our breakfast and also dinner. They had some very comfy outdoor seating and we just relaxed over there under the shade. Here they had some benches by the pool that we were able to enjoy as well. Alright guys, come in! Okay, so this is the little tent. It's very cute. Um, this was fully stocked with like plates and all of that. We used it, um, so we left those. And then the bed was very comfy. There's two lights here. Um, and then they give like a charger box to set it up um, in the nighttime. It came with towels, which was so nice. They had a very comfy set of couches and a small dining table. Overall, it was a very spacious tent and it was quite the glamping experience. The facilities were sort of like a, a 10 second walk from the tent. Here's the shower, it was like an outdoor um, handheld shower. And also the commode was a similar style outdoor kind of uh, open air style commode. This is a view of our campsite and you can see it was very nice, very private, very isolated. All right, so we made it here to Joshua Tree, but on the way here, we looked at our directions back going to LA, and we have dinner reservations at LA at 7.30. But right now, the traffic in LA is so bad that we're projected to reach our hotel in LA at 6.45 already, which would put us already 10 minutes late to our dinner. So we had to sort of abort our plan, our mission to Joshua Tree, midway through. So we decided to go back a little bit earlier to LA so that we can meet our friends for dinner. And on the way now to LA, we stopped on the road. We saw this sign for fresh fruit. It has like lemon juice, lime, chili powder, it has mango, cucumber, coconut. We're excited. So we're gonna finish this and get back on the road and head over to LA. 